In today's video, I'm going to be showing you an innovative method that allows you to play some of your favorite arcade racing titles on either your At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade Cabinet or your favorite modded arcade cabinet running a Windows 10 PC. So pull up a chair, grab a drink, make sure you subscribe to the channel as we go ahead and race towards the exciting world of racing games. Coming up right after this. Let me introduce to you the Hyperkin S wheel for Xbox One and Windows 10. This is a wireless racing wheel that has a very sleek design and a rubberized exterior grip, metallic trim, and a dedicated paddle shifters on both sides that allow you to change gears in a flash. This wheel also has built-in dedicated X, B, A, Y buttons, shoulder buttons, as well as an analog stick and a D-pad. It's lightweight and has a small form factor for comfort and ease of use, and it measures only 8 inches across. Now, in order to utilize this thing with your At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade Cabinet or your favorite modded arcade cabinet running a Windows 10 PC, you're going to need one of these. This is the official Windows 10 wireless adapter. Simply plug it into the PC, pair it with the controller, and you're good to go. Alright, let's go ahead and check out some gameplay via CoinOps on my At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade Cabinet. I'm running CoinOps on my gaming PC and I'm streaming it locally across my Wi-Fi, which is not ideal, but I'm streaming it locally over to the cabinet via the ArcadeNet link. So we've got this already connected to the PC, everything's synced up. The great thing about this is I didn't have to do any controller figurations or anything like that. I literally just plugged in the dongle, synced it up with the controller, and it's working just fine with CoinOps. As you can see, as I rotate the controller, it goes to the settings. So that's a little wonky, but we'll go ahead and pick some racing games. And I'll show you just how well, well this works. So for starters, to select things, I can either rotate or I can use the D-pad. I'm gonna go to racing games. Now to select up and down which games I want to pick, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to hit my trigger button. It's going to scroll through the games, and we'll go ahead and pick a game. Let's do, scroll through here, let's do OutRun. Everybody loves OutRun. So my coin and start button are going to be these face buttons here on the front. So I'm going to insert a coin. All right, on Outrunners, the accelerator is going to be the A button. For most other games, it's typically the trigger button. But here we are. No pedals necessary, just holding the button and steering as needed. It does take a little bit to get used to, just holding a steering wheel in the air, though. But But as you can see, it actually works pretty dang well. Coming in hot. And to back out, we just normally do our hotkey thing, our start and select button. And we're back into our coin ops menu. Let's pick a couple more games to test out. So many good ones to choose from. Let's go with VR Racing, Virtual Racing. That's one of my favorite games. Select it with our A button. Let it get started up. Again, insert the coin with the front face button. Select course by wheel and step on gas pedal. Go with the big gear in our course. Looks like the right trigger is our accelerator, so I'm going to assume the left trigger is the brake. Ooh, this one is definitely touchier. All right, 
let's back it out and let's test this on Steam because yes that's right it works on Steam games as well all right as you can see here we've got Horizon Chase Turbo loaded up on Steam again sync through the arcade net over my local Wi-Fi connection and our start button on our steering wheel and this is the demo so we're just gonna test this out real quick Rotating the wheel to go through our, eh, let's go, let's go with the good old Dodge Viper looking car. Again, looks like the right trigger is our accelerator. Y button looks to be our turbo. Making some progress. Oh, I say that just as I crash. For starters, let me tell you a couple things that make this steering wheel very unique as far as how it integrates with the At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade cabinet. First and foremost, it's very small and it doesn't have a big base and pedals and everything included with it. You can use it freestanding if you like or you can attach it to something. And one of the cool things I especially like is on the very back here, you'll notice it actually has a thread and that thread lines up perfectly with something like a tripod ball mount. So you can screw that on there, attach it to the tripod ball mount, and then you can attach this to the cabinet if you like. So you can attach it probably somewhere down here by the control panel, still allowing you easy access. It's still about waist level high and you have the adjustability of the tripod ball top. So you can sit there and adjust it forward and back to suit your needs. And if you don't want to attach it to the cabinet permanently, you can actually just do the same kind of thing using this tripod ball mount and attaching it to the steering wheel and then attaching the ball mount to say a tripod. So if you got a tripod there, you can kind of create your own standing pedestal for the driving games. And if none of that is appealing to you, then you can just do free wheeling, free standing like this, and you stand in front of your cabinet and control willy nilly, but it works like a charm, honestly. And of course, there are a few drawbacks of using this wireless racing wheel with your At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade cabinet or a different modding PC that's running Windows 10. First and foremost, you've obviously probably noticed that there's no pedals. Now that may be a deal breaker to you. Me personally, I didn't find any kind of issue having to use the triggers or the buttons on the racing wheel as my pedals. However, for those of you that really want that authentic racing arcade experience, well, this may not be the option for you because there are no brake and gas pedals or even a clutch pedals. All you get is the steering wheel. So keep that in mind. Number two is, yes, you absolutely do need this Xbox wireless adapter for the Windows 10 PC to get it to work. And that kind of limits you with your streaming options from a gaming PC point. So if you're streaming on ArcadeNet via local streaming with your At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade cabinet, and let's say your gaming PC is in a different room or a different floor, something like that, far away from your Legends Ultimate, and you're sitting there standing in front of it trying to drive, well, unfortunately, that's not gonna work for you because this thing and this thing need to communicate, therefore, they need to be actually pretty close to each other. So I plug this into the USB ports on the Legends Ultimate Arcade cabinet, and unfortunately, it doesn't recognize it, doesn't turn it on, doesn't really do anything. So maybe that's something the developers over at App Games can work on, wink, wink, nudge, nudge just a suggestion because if we could plug this into one of the usb ports on the control panel and we could get it to communicate with the steering wheel well by god that would solve all of our problems with communications and distance and that would allow people to have gaming pcs in different rooms or on a different floor of their household all the options they needed to potentially just stand there in front of their cabinet and use this type of device 
And lastly, of course, is the price. Now this thing is anywhere from $75 to $100, depending on which retailers you get. I think going right for it right now is about $100. And the Xbox wireless adapter dongle is about $20. So you're looking at about $120 all in, which when you really think about it, it's not too bad considering the fact that most console steering wheel kits are about $120 to $150 depending on brand names of course. Yes you can get them cheaper, yes you can get them more expensive, but for all the bells and whistles and all the intents and purposes they're actually about the same. One of the things again that impressed me the most is the versatility of this. You can mount it, you can stand there, you can put it on a pedestal, you can put it on a tripod, you can just stand there, drive it as you want. It's got these really cool clicking paddle shifters which actually work really well and the compatibility of it. I found it to work perfectly well with coin ops, it worked well with Steam games and I also got to work well with a lot of my Techno Parrot emulated games. Things like uh, Sega Sonic Racing All-Stars, uh, Sega GT, Mario Kart DX, just to name a few games that I was playing this and got it to work just fine so keep that in mind. And that does it for today's video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the content. I hope somebody out there finds this information helpful. If you're interested in playing these racing games, well, by God, give it a shot because currently this is the only good way we can really play racing games with a racing wheel until the Legends Ultimate community gets something figured out for USB connectivity. So if you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to this channel, I highly suggest you subscribe for more great nerdy content like this. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.